I'm Dr. Christopher Marshall. I'm a professor in the Department of Marine Biology here at Texas A&M University, Galveston, and I am the director for the Gulf Center for Sea Turtle Research. Sea turtles strand for a, a number of reasons. We also respond a lot to sea turtles that just get entangled in monofilament line or other types of plastic. Sea turtles will strand if they happen to be hit by a boat. Cold stunning is another reason why we'll see sea turtles on the beach or even on the back bays. So we have to remember sea turtles are reptiles and their body temperature is dictated by the water temperature around them. So around 50 degrees, they go into what's called a cold stun. They kind of go into a, a coma-like uh, condition. They'll stop eating or stop swimming. They'll come up to the surface. And if they stay in those cold temperatures for a prolonged amount of time, they'll actually uh, die from that. Other reasons that sea turtles uh, will come up is due to various kind of illnesses and, and sicknesses. All sea turtles are protected by the U.S. government. These are endangered and threatened species. The best thing to do is call the sea turtle hotline, which is the same number for the entire coast of Texas. Get us some photographs so we know what species it is, how big it is, and what the condition is because, and knowing the condition of the animal right off the bat, really helps us to create a, a treatment plan for that animal. If you find sea turtles on the beach that are in need, call the 1-866-TURTLE-5 phone number uh, so that that turtle can, can get some help. And if you want to help us here at the hospital or any of our conservation programs, uh, you can go online to our website where we have a link for donations.